Zimbabwe's drug regulator has issued a recall notice on two batches of Benelin Pediatric 100mm cough syrup. This follows detection of high levels of diethylene glycol, a toxic substance which can be fatal to humans when consumed. The affected batches numbered 329303 and 329304 manufactured by Johnson & Johnson. In a statement earlier today, the Medicines Control Authority of Zimbabwe said healthcare providers should not administer the affected product to children. The drug regulator said while their database does not show importation of the affected batches, there are concerns that the affected batches may have found their way into Zimbabwe illegally. We're now joined by Geoffrey Guakua, a pharmaceutical expert, to help us understand the latest development. So very good evening to you, Jeffrey. Now, to start with, how widely available is this cough syrup in Zimbabwe? Benilin pediatric syrup was registered last year by the Medicines Control Authority of Zimbabwe. We do not have it on our shelves. However, some people could have imported it illegally. We advise that anyone with the said uh, syrup should not give their babies. Now, lab tests have revealed a high level of diethylene glycol. How harmful is this substance and what are some of the side effects? Toxic levels of diethylene glycol were found in a batch of Benilin pediatric syrup in Nigeria. Possible effects are pain, vomiting, diarrhea, acute kidney failure, which might lead to death. Now lastly, is this move by MCAS just a precautionary measure or is there an imminent threat? As I stated earlier, the toxic effects of diethylene glycol are very serious. There is imminent danger to our children and I would like to urge anyone in possession of benilin pediatric liquid to hand it over to the authority the nearest provider or pharmacy. Konapo Konapo, Ipapo Ipapo, Pazetian Prime, DSTV Channel 294, the place to be.